All right, guys, welcome back for episode number nine of our series where we are trying to create a Flutter app using Firebase, Flutter, and Block. And today we are creating the home screen of the app. Let's jump right into it. So first, let me remind you actually what we are trying to build. So this is the kind of home screen that we are looking for today. So we'll have some placeholder for a profile picture right here. When we click on it, we wanna be able to upload the picture or change the picture display welcome rom here but that will be the username that will be displayed a button right there to log out and then an entire list view scrollable list view with all the posts so a post is going to be a profile picture with the name of the person that, that did the post when the post was published the text of the post the photo of the post and then a little heart and the number of people that liked it but this i will leave it as a bonus and a post can be either just text text and a photo or just a photo and at the bottom right we'll have a floating action button to create a new post and we'll focus on creating a new post in the next episode today we're just going to create the ui so let's jump right into the code so this is actually where we are right now inside our application remember in the last episode we've dealt with the entire sign in and sign up screen and i've left you a little bit in the dark knowing if it was going to work or not well let me just tell you right here it's working so i've created uh, if you navigate to your firebase project uh, I've, I've actually tested it i've created an account test account and you can see that in Firebase Authentication, I see it right here. And in Firestore, I see under the user collection, a new document with an email, an ID, a name, and a picture. But don't take my word for it. Let's sign up with a new account. So I'm going to create rom at gmail.com with a password that I'm going to create. So you can see right here, I'm fitting all the descriptions, test one, two, three, four, and my name is going to be rom. And I click on sign up. And you'd see here, you'd be like, right, so everything's broken, right? But no, it's totally normal because if you navigate under lib, screen, home, home screen, this is the only thing that you have right now. This is for later on, but you have just a placeholder and the placeholder does that. To check that it worked, well, let's navigate under our fire store and you'd see a new document has appeared with the email, the ID, the name, and no pictures because I didn't do it yet. And if you navigate to authentication, you'd see that the account was well created. So that's working perfect. So now let's focus on the home screen. So I've actually already, in order to test that, already created the, the base of what we want to, uh, to be building today. So uh, let me just take that under so I have it at the same time as I'm talking to you. Perfect. So what do we want to do today? So I've created this little home screen with a scaffold and there is a app bar and I've just added the icon button in order to log out, okay? And you would see right here in the icon button that I've created on, under the onpref method, I've added a context read sign in block and add the event sign out required. And if I'm actually trying it now, you'd see that it's gonna give us an exception, right? Because we didn't provide it the home screen with the sign in block, okay? And to do just that, let me refresh, to do just that, let's navigate under the appview.dart file. And under here, you'll navigate to the home, and then you'd see if, well, the status is authenticated, we return home screen. And we don't want to return just home screen. We want to return a block provider of sign-in block, okay? And then as a child, pass home screen. And now if I refresh my app, and I'm trying to log out, you'd see that everything is working perfectly. And we tried to sign up, let's try to sign in. So rom at gmail.com, test one, two, three, four, exclamation point, sign in, everything's working. Perfect. So now let's focus on the UI. So we've said we want some kind of an app bar. So we already have the button right here, but we want now some sort of icon to place a photo. So. Let's do just that. So not under actions, but we want to do uh, let we want to do a title. So we want to do a title, and we're going to do a row with children. Okay. And so the first element of our row is going to be a container. Okay. Just for the UI right now. Okay. So we're going to set a fixed width of fifty and a height of fifty, and we're just going to say that the color is going to be blue, just so we can see it right now on the app. Perfect. You see, it's right here. 
So now we as well want to have it rounded, okay? So we want to say decoration, okay? Box decoration and the shape, box shape dot circle, dot circle. And you want to move your color uh, parameter under the decoration uh, parameter, otherwise it's not gonna work. And perfect, you see right here, we have our future profile picture. So that's working perfect. Uh, we want to set the elevation of our app bar to zero. So that's done. And we want to set the color of our app bar. So background color to theme dot of context dot color scheme dot background. And what is it? What is it actually? Well, you're going to tell me what this is. Well, if you navigate under app view, you'd see that here we've implemented our theme. And so we have different colors for the app. You can just modify those colors right here and they will be changed everywhere in the app if you're using the theme of context. And basically I'm going to do the same for the background of the scaffold because you see this is white and this is some grayish color and I don't like that. So let's make it white. So that's very good. That's very good. We're making good progress. Now let's navigate under our row still. What do we want to do under our row? We also want some kind of text, right? So let's add a text widget. And for now, let's just feed him welcome Rome. And let's save that. Perfect. So maybe we want to add some size box of 10 between those things, not one, 10. So we have a little bit more room and that's pretty much good. That's very done. That, that, that's pretty much done for the app bar right now. So let's navigate now to the post section of the app. And you might want to say that your title is not center. But because we are inside a row, you don't really need to do that inside the app bar. But well, center title, you can put that to false. So it's not going in anywhere in the middle. So now under the app bar, we want to access the body parameter of our scaffold. OK, and remember here, we want to have a list view. OK, we want to have a list view of all the posts that are going to come. But we want this list to be built as long as we have new posts coming in, right? So let's do just that. So we're going to do a list view builder here. And you'd see that the list view that builder has a parameter that's called item builder. This parameter takes a context and an integer and expects to return a widget. Okay. So now what kind of widget do we want to return? Well, we want to return a post widget. Okay. But just for now, let's return a container. Okay. Just in order, in order for us to see. And we can access as well the item count parameter. And let's just set that to four, for instance, for now. And so this is going to be the number of, of, um, of, uh, of container that we will display on the app later on. We'll be setting that to the length of the number of posts that we have. So let's go ahead and, and say that the width is going to be infinity, but the height is going to be, let's say, 400. And the color is going to be colors.blue. Wow, sorry, that was a lot of stuff. My bad. Colors.blue. Okay, let's save that. Perfect. Well, you'll be like, well, that's just one giant one, right? You, uh, you, you're right, but let's just wrap that with some padding and you'd see four separate containers. Yep, you see right here, four separate containers. So that's going to be our different post, right? So now we have, we, we did set a, a fixed height for them, but the height is going to be variable depending on if we have just a text, just a post, a, a photo post, both of them. But let's for now just setting to 400 so we can actually see what we are doing. So we are letting it blue for now. Same, it's going to be the, the background color later on. So what do we want to have? We want to have a column to create our post. Okay. So a column takes some children. And the first thing that we have will have, will be a row, a row that takes as well a children parameter. So we will have first the profile picture of the person that did the post. So I'm going to just go inside the app bar and copy what we did and paste it right here because that's the same. And I want to be consistent. Perhaps let's make that red so we can see it. Okay, good. Uh, we might want to have as well some padding around this column so we can set some padding right here and we set this padding to eight yeah let's do that perfect and we are lined up with the with the with the top as well which we always like to be uh, so that's going to be for our user profile picture perfect 
Then we want to have another column inside this row that's text children. And we're going to have two things. We're going to have, well, I'm going to take the text widget that we created right here. We want to have first the text. That's going to be the name of the, of the person. So for me, it's going to be Rom. Okay. And we want to have another text widget under it. That's going to be like, uh, the, the date that we that the post was created so let's say uh, uh we're gonna paste it like 2023 uh 04 12. Oh, yeah something like this so we we have something like this perfect so here inside our column i'm gonna make the cross axis alignment uh, equal to start i'm gonna add a size box between our photo and our text of a width of 10 okay Perfect. So we are consistent with, with what's above. Okay. And perhaps I'm going to put away the blue stuff. So we are perfect. And just for the sake of it, I'm going to just do one. So we are good. So let's add some styling to all this. Sorry. Let's me. Okay. Constance. Let's add some styling. So here we're going to access the style parameter text style. So we want font weight, the font weight to be bold. Sorry, not normal bold. Okay. Yes. The size of the text to be perhaps 18. Yeah, that could work. That could work. And I want to add some size box between those two. This time accessing the height and setting it to five. So there is a little bit of space between them. Okay, perfect. Uh, now we are pretty much done for the upper, upper, let's say the header of the post. Now we want to do uh, the post itself. So if there is some some sort of, 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 of text post or if there is some sort of, uh, of photo. So column right here, row right here, under the row, then under the row, let's have, let's say another container. Okay. And perhaps I'm going to add the blue color again. So it's clear for us. So I've set another container right here, but what I want to do actually is to say that this container is going to be a colors colors dot yeah amber for example and here you won't see anything because it has no height all right it has nothing but perhaps let's say child and this is going to be this is going to be what this is going to be basically either a column with the text and the picture or just the text or, or just the picture, okay? And depending on those, those, those things, we want to return anything else. So perhaps we can just focus right now on the text, okay? Let's just imagine a post is only text, okay? So let's do just that. So we want to return a text widget and add some text right here. So if you want to populate with some text and you don't want to just type some dumb stuff, let's navigate to the internet and tap lorem ipsum. You're going to go inside the first website here and you can actually generate some, uh, some, uh, some words if you want to. Well, there is a lot of advertisement, but that's just how it is. They have to eat. So you can just copy the lower MSUs that was generated and go back to the app and just paste that right here. If we save that, well, perfect. You see that our post is created. Let's add a little size box of height 10 right here. So it's a little bit separated. Let's just remove this color. That's ugly. Perfect. And that's pretty much done for our post right there. So if we just delete this blue color and delete the height, you will see that it's, it's, it's pretty much done. That, that works just perfect. And right here, we can set our account to, let's say four. And you'd see that we have a list of different posts. Let's set that to perhaps eight so we can scroll a little bit through them. And you'd see that you have a little list of all the different posts right here. Just for the sake of it to be more simple, I didn't add the pictures, but since we're going to add the pictures right here, you'll see that it's pretty much the same thing if you want to add them inside your post as well. So for the home screen, we have to add one more thing and that's going to be a floating action button. So under the background color, because it's a scaffold parameter, you want to access the floating action button and setting to floating action button on press. That's a required parameter makes sense because it's a button and you see, I save it and by magic, I have a button on the a button on the bottom right. So I want to have a child here. That's going to be an icon. 
and that's going to be a cupertino icons dot add and like that like that we have our uh, our floating action button that if we click on it will be redirected to the creation of a post okay so right now we're pretty much done for the home screen now in the next episode we're going to talk about the profile picture so we're going to deal with the profile picture and then in the episode that follows the profile picture we'll do the post creation screen uh, since then, I wish you all guys a very good day and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.